Hello, and this is the tutorial for Camtasia Studio 8. Camtasia Studio 8 is very similar to Camtasia 7, so if you know how to use Camtasia 7, you don't really need this tutorial. Only some features were added to Camtasia Studio 8. Okay, so, so in this video, I'll be covering three topics. Clip, the clip-in, library, and callouts. Okay, so the clip-in is the Clip-in is basically where you import your video that you've recorded or you want to edit, uh, music you want to add, and pictures that you have, basically. And that kind of rhymes. Anyways, now I'm going to show you three different types of uh, media files. Okay, first of all, um, just a regular image, just somewhere I had, and then um, let's just do this. Uh huh. Um, a music a .mp3. Then I'm gonna go to a .mp3 or .mp4, and it's uh, I don't I don't really just use this. I want to use this one. This is a video that I've already done. Uh, so let me just let me just show you how this would work for the clip bit. Okay. So anything you have in the clip-in, you can just add to the timeline. The timeline is basically where you would do all your editing for the video. So I'm going to right right click it or just double double clicking it will actually just play it, not add to the timeline. So you right click it, add to timeline, add playhead. The playhead. Okay, when you when you added a video, something that has a video to it. It'll ask for a dimensions. Dimensions are basically the size of the video. Um, if you want, just do. If you want HD, just do 1280 times 720. And background color is any space that is not being used by the video. That's what it'll take. So I'm just gonna do pink or something like that. Hey, look, my video is exactly 720. Anyways, now. Okay, now that you see, a .mp4 has one audio track. That would mean that it controls one track of audio. Now, this is, if you add, a, if you add like a regular music .mp3 and play playhead, you get, you get a different track because it's two different, two different audio tracks, okay? Now, if you don't know, the playhead is basically the player, so... If you see this thing right here, this is the playhead, and I'm gonna go over this uh, a little bit later in another video. And image. So if I add an image to the playhead, there you go. Um, basically, now you're able to control where the image actually is. So I'm just gonna control the majority of the video right there. Okay. Also, also by less putting your cursor over the edge of like the music you want or the video that you have you can make it shorter longer or whatever okay and that's that's bas that's basically the basics of um, adding stuff to it you you can just basically put as much stuff as you want but keep in mind that if you were to make it into like one single video it's going to take some time just cuz it's, it's a lot of crap it has to go through or a lot of a lot of stuff it has to go through. Okay, now for the library. The library is when you download Camtasia Studio, it'll give you a bunch of stuff you could you can work with. And what I mean by that is, it'll get, you see that all these all these folders, these are all this you can use in your videos. Now for music, I'm not sure if it's copyright free. I don't. I have to check, but I'm pretty sure it is. So if if you really worry, just go check it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be. Just don't worry about it. Um, and they'll, for Camtasia Studio 8, they'll give you different versions, like a short version. If you have some kind of intro, it would be about 17 seconds. What they do is minutes, seconds, and then millis nanoseconds, or milliseconds. And that that's the music. Um, Themes are stuff that you can add to the video, like a picture or something like that, but it would, um, 
it would do something like for a speech bubble obviously it will act like sort of like an annotation you can just add to the video type something in and it'll show up sort of like that um but some some are actually animated as well and that could also add to the video if you just want to um sample titles these are just stuff you can just put into the video and it would have that like colored background and then you just put text and if you can it says five seconds you can change that by just going into the like i said the track put your cursor over the edge and then change the links callouts um callouts is basically uh first you press add callout right okay so now it's add to the track it's just on track three because multiple different um audio tracks share their own have their own tracks but stuff like images and call outs share the same track as well so okay now here's the call out now here, what do you have here's the different stuff you do sketch motion animation so if you ever seen like a video where it looks like a marker is being drawn on the video, this is the animation stuff, sketch motion, um, special, special stuff. Um, what this means is it will sort of change the way the video looks. For example, this will center the video into one place by making everything darker. This will sort of um, blur it, as in here, blur, pixelate. Uh, traditional keystrokes, keystrokes, clear keystrokes, red keystrokes. Um, it's basically like a bunch of images, keystrokes. Highlighter, highlight stuff, text, transparent, hotspot. Eh. Shape. Shapes. Um, if you really, I don't have, I actually have not much information at the special because I haven't been working much with the special stuff. I think I've done some of these not a lot so if you want you, it, you can experiment it if you want with it it's fine shapes just shapes Air, arrows mostly lines if you just I don't know want to draw on your um, video if you want and uh, shapes with text this is where you get you put on the shape but you can actually add text into it so for a speech bubble of course you want to add text into it but here's here's the main thing i do i use text now here's how text would really work you go into the you go into the text box and you type whatever the heck you want like let's say for example let's just put this to red let's just say you just want to just just want to say some kind of message like uh, I don't know let's say that okay um, it just basically works the same way is in word if you I hope to God you know how to use word a hot spot okay so whoops Whoopsies. <sighs> okay. Okay. So, so let me just I'll wrap this up very quickly. Um, call outs, different things you can add to the video to make it better slightly if you want to. Fade in, fade out is um, I, I'll just show you. Okay, the rule. See how it sort of, see how that text sort of fades in, and if you want to make it larger. No, um, you can change where the text is, and then you can make it larger, and uh, basically that's that's the whole premise of clipping, library, and collapse. Next video, I'll be talking about zooming, pan, audio, and transition. Transitions. Bye.